half-empty bottle stuck behind the tire of your car. Just waiting, waiting to shatter and ruin your morning and cost you a trip to the tire store. What was the metaphor? New Year's. It's like a jar filled with rainbows, sunshine, puppies and kittens mashed into a paste and you can spread it on the toast of your life. <laughs> People celebrate New Year's in a whole host of ways, as diverse as many flavors of this huge world of ours, from hanging sticks of bamboo on the door to symbolize growth and prosperity, that's what they do in Japan, um, to baking a circular cake with a coin or something hidden inside and that you know whoever gets it has an extra lucky year which is what they do in I think Mexico. Uh, people in Spain eat 12 grapes with each chime of the clock at midnight on New Year's for 12 months of happiness and joy and the Danish save up their crockware all year long that's gotten dinged or that they're going to get rid of anyway and then smash it on their friend's porch and then the next morning it's like, oh look, look at all this broken crockery. I have so many friends who care about me and wish that I have a lucky and happy new year. They also eat kale, kale and cream sauce with cinnamon and sugar. And African Americans say to have plenty of everything in the new year, eat plenty of black eyed peas. And um, another thing that served with that of course is collard greens. And the Chinese also believe that it's a lucky thing to eat lots of greens around new years although their New Year's is a little bit later. Still a lot of the same things, a lot of little, little carried over. Today, we have created a dish that is a cultural culinary fusion with influences from Chinese, Danish, and African-American culinary traditions. We've created an appropriate name for it, and one that I'm rather pleased with. Today's dish features kale and collard greens, and you're going to have a lot more than good luck on your side when you're dining upon these delicious and nutritious members of the cruciferous vegetable family. Kale and collard greens are both rich in vitamins A, C, E, and K, and are also good sources of fiber, calcium, and iron. They also contain organosulfur compounds, which are phytonutrients that have been widely studied and are strongly correlated with a reduced risk of cancer. One of these is called sulforaphane, and it is produced when kale and collard greens are chopped up or chewed thoroughly. And it is thought to fight cancer in a couple of different ways. One of the things it does is it stimulates the liver to produce detoxifying enzymes, which help break down potentially carcinogenic substances and eliminate them from the body. The other thing that it does is it can cause, in some studies, cancer cells uh, in the colon to commit cellular suicide or apoptosis, if you will. It's kind of like the sulforaphane comes up to the cancer cell and is like, hey, you're not looking so good. I mean, you live in someone's colon. You need to get out more. Hey, you want to hear some poetry that I wrote? Or uh, we could listen to some Barbara Streisand records. Oh, or there's a student film festival that we could go catch. Apoptosis, cleaning house in your colon. Got my Christmas slippers on. Y'all, I'm just chilling. So now is the time where we're going to show you how to get all these wonderful nutrients inside you. This is a salad that I think is really tasty and it's actually a lot of fun to make. It's so simple you don't even need a food processor or anything. Just some bowls, a knife, and a cutting board. For extra double happy relaxed greens, you will need one small bunch kale, about one cup chopped, a small bunch collard greens, about two cups chopped, one small apple, pippin, one small shallot, a quarter cup balsamic vinegar, a quarter cup olive oil, a quarter cup pine nuts, one tablespoon honey, one tablespoon mustard, a quarter teaspoon salt, and pepper to taste. They're called relaxed because we're going to massage them a little bit. It's important to break up the fibers very thoroughly because that's what releases the sulforaphane and other beneficial compounds that you want. What we're going to do is chop up our greens very finely and put them in the bowl. 
We're then going to add our salt and two teaspoons of the olive oil, and that's when the massage begins. We're massaging the kale to soften it up, to get it ready. <laughs> We're going to be massaging the kale to kind of rub the oil and salt in, which is going to break up the fibers even more and make it soft and palatable. So just plunge your hands into that bowl and get all messy. Mash it good between your thumbs. Spreading the oil around really well. I was afraid that a couple teaspoons wasn't going to be enough. Now I think I've got too much oil overall in the recipe. Set your greens aside and allow them to relax a little bit further. Now it's time to make the dressing. Take all the ingredients for the dressing, your olive oil, balsamic vinegar, the honey, and the mustard, and whisk them together. You really only need a couple tablespoons for this recipe. Thankfully, the rest of it stores well in the refrigerator and goes well on any salad you might wish to put it on. So set it aside, and it's time to chop up your apples. I've reserved some of the slices for garnish, and put a little bit of lemon juice on all of the apple to keep it from turning brown and keep it fresh and nice looking. Now it's time to cut up the shallot nice and fine. Now mix your chopped apple and shallots in with your greens. Drizzle with some dressing and garnish with the sliced apple and pine nuts. That's all you got to do! It's really that easy. This salad's a lot of fun to make, plus it's a great source of all sorts of wonderful nutrients that you want to include in your diet. We at Freshtopia are wishing you an auspicious and salubrious new year. Glorifying. 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 Glorifying.